So tonight we're going to be making a blanket. Have we ever made one before? And do we know what we're doing, you ask? No. So it's gonna be trial and error, and I figured we would trial and error together. We've started by cutting out the largest graphic on a t-shirt, and we are going to cut squares that match on all of the other t-shirts. So we may have some jacked up squares. It's made with love, not it's perfection. It's made with love, not perfection, exactly. The most important ingredient, besides sharp scissors, and of course a sewing machine, is my niece's personality. <laughs> it's the first stitches. So I'm trying to keep in line, like, I don't want this one to be upside down. And you said this this one doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a baby it, shirt. It can go any direction. Yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm turning it upside down hey, wait. because I'm going to sew down here and that way Ooh. it'll come out like that. We've decided we want to make this at least a full-size comforter width, which is 81 to 84 inches. We've decided to go with seven squares in length. We also have these tiny little baby clothes where oh God, we'll probably so do some trim either on the top oh, or bottom or both, depending on how many of the baby clothes we have. So what happened? <laughs> I put it on upside down. <laughs> Super wide. I think that would be fine, yeah. Aww. Oh, that's, cute. that's really good. Here, I don't know, you look at it. It's got that mom thing going on where it's like, you gotta look down your chin and your nose, kind of. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, Chrissy. I know I'm about ready to hot glue this blanket together. <laughs> <laughs> Such hard work. Here we are finally looking up bobbin instructions since it continuously messed up the whole time. Oh, you know what? I was thinking. We you were! were. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> That's her little term of endearment for her big sister. We laid the blanket out on her king size bed to see what size it was going to be. We were going for a queen size, which honestly, this is going to end up being closer to a twin, so always go big. Now we need to match the back of the blanket up with the front of the blanket. This is the point where we realize that we don't have enough material for the back of the blanket. So it's either go to the store and buy more material, which of course I don't want to do, or get creative. We decided since we had extra t-shirts to make two more strips to run down the sides of the backing. I think, I think my bobbing ran out. How are you planning to wrap this? Do you need me to go to the store? I'm not going to the store. I mean, I'm not doing the- I have a box. Yeah, can you have wrap it again? <laughs> it's funny that you know me that well. <laughs> I'm just casually asking. <laughs> and just no, I do, I do not. Me, might not. I do not have wrapping paper. I figure I'd just use duct tape. No. <laughs> I have colored duct tape. No, I don't. <laughs> it's black. I use it to upholster my seats. <laughs> I'm not kidding. You should see no, my no, you're not. <laughs> Did you see the 
TikTok I could play you. I'm gonna put the blast in I don't know how to do the TikTok! <laughs> So we have laid the bottom of the blanket wrong side up on her king size bed to see how we match up with the batting that will go in between the two layers of material. We'll match up the corners of the batting and then cut off all of the excess. I purchased a queen size batting for this blanket because that was the size I was going for. We ended up having to cut off some of it because we didn't have enough t-shirt squares. So. Save your t-shirts and go for a king size batting and that way you might actually get a really good queen size. Okay, so start with the, with the front of the blanket and put it right side up. So then the back the of the blanket is going to be wrong side up on top of this. Right. For once. <laughs> Wait, but it, but it has to, the, the things have to be make sure that the things are facing the right way which they are like okay, yeah. we don't want one side upside down and the other side the right, other way right, right, right. so make sure that the sides really are facing for that to be ruffle looking right side up match your corners <laughs> and then we're gonna pin it the fluffy oh, fluffy. oh. Ah. yes and then we're gonna pin it so match corners Mostly. Mostly. Today on AJ's live, she kept saying gently, and I kept going, gently! <laughs> oh, what does he say? Oh, we have <laughs> so much extra batting over here. Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> you know, when Wesley's being tortured and... No, no, no. True love! <laughs> <laughs> At the very top, I would put at least a two-foot section where we fold it from inside out. Okay, press stop if you would. We have the front of the blanket right side up. We have the back of the blanket right side down. So the faces are up against each other. Then we have the batting on the back of the back of the blanket. So now we are going to sew around all of the edges. Trim off anything extra, but we're gonna sew around the edges, leaving about a two foot space at the top of the blanket where we can turn it inside itself. So we're starting at the top and working our way back around. As we are lining the material up with the sewing machine, we realize that we have the pins kind of facing the wrong way. So as you are thinking about lining your material up in your sewing machine, think about, from the right. Think about putting the, yeah, as you are lining your material up with your sewing machine, you want to be able to, if you're left-handed, then you'd be great with what we just did. But if you're right-handed, like most people are, like we are, you're gonna wanna pull out from the right. So pin accordingly as That's you're running judgy. through. <sighs> So we were talking and stuff, and we, mm, we totally sewed the top of the blanket together completely on the outer edges, Almost completely. On, the, on the outside of it, and we didn't mean to do that. So we stopped that far, maybe 20 inches, mm, or like mm, 12, 14. 14, maybe 14. <laughs> 12 to 14 inches on that corner. That we are going to leave open so that we can flip the whole blanket right side out and then we'll sew that corner very carefully, hopefully. So we have left this corner unsewn so that we can now flip the blanket right side out and then we will sew this corner together. It's my moment. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. You like it? You like it? Yeah, yes. he's jealous 
Elsa, but that's you, what that noise is. Crash wants a blanket. Crash. It is smaller than I thought it was gonna be. It's more like a twin than the queen we set out for. Okay. Now flip it. Oh, we did it! Spectacular! We did it! He said, What's the two things? Five. Oh, that's a good one. Very cool. You got it. Yeah. 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 The Terezine Promise? <laughs> that was my first school play. And there's your graduation. Oh, I love this. <laughs> Thank you, guys. But I, I like the graduation robe, too. That was a really good idea. <laughs> that night, after graduation, she's like, oh my god, he just so easily gave it to me. He so easily gave it to me. Take this, take this. And then the next day, is we, we ripped it up. <laughs> <laughs> I love this.